Hello again, Glitch Ripper here. I'm back for another mob battle, and this time it's gonna be kind of a bit like mob battle science, but I'm just curious uh, at what point can a lightning dragon take down an ignibus? Now, I've already grown these, they're different stages, so I have prepared. Well, actually, I need to kind of. Uh, some special. Yeah, that way I have the dragons in reserve for other mob battles. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't want to lose these prearranged stages I, I worked uh, so much for, as I kind of had to do some interesting tricks to get hold of them all. Uh, not, 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 not too big, but just still a bit of a deal. <laughs> I mean, you have to hatch a dragon first to get it to be t considered growable, so otherwise you're just waiting for random forever, so yeah. Now let's see here. I am prepped. So, we have the... What is all the way over there? This glowing, because it's like... There has to be some wisps around... Oh, those are macas. Yes. Okay, that, that makes a lot more sense. The wisps next to macas. Yeah. You can easily see that happening there. Now, perfectly fair. Uh, stage 1 is nowhere near the HP of a uh, Ignibus, but, that said, I gotta go up slowly. Now, I have tried getting things at night, but there's just too many things at night. That said, I could try. I think I have taken out some problematic things here and there. At least temporarily. But I just don't think the lightning dragon could reach at that stage. It takes them a little while to get uh, big enough to do so. Although, let me try getting things at night where it doesn't sleep at first. So this is a, a uh, attempt to do this after certain things have already uh, been cutting out of here, because I, I was having, like, way too many, uh, things from, uh, Jujutsu Kaisen before, but I've temporarily removed that, uh, mod, because it was causing issues. Uh, th oh well. Stage 1 dragon is down. Why are you not I thought I had dragon horn here. Is something having a glitch again or something? Why is it not deploying? Is there something wrong with this dragon? I, I made it as exact duplicate there. Maybe I need to start with a fresh duplicate? Uh, maybe I need to get rid of the remains? That wouldn't entirely make sense, but... Yeah, I might need to dispose the remains there. I'm not entirely sure. Let's let's try that again. I, I have no idea why that would affect it, but uh yeah. There we go. A nice new lightning dragon. And quite awake. Even then, I don't think stage two will be able to do too terribly much to this ignibus here. But we'll see. I mean, it got around half the ignibus's HP. But the ignibus is a very frequent attacker. With a huge Burhutch style, so yeah. It really is kind of fierce on the phone.
Honestly, I'm not entirely sure which one has the nastier fire breath between the... Okay. I'd say the Ignibus has proven itself there. Okay, so let's clear out the, uh, the corpse again. The mob killer has, like, no effect on it, by the way. I just have to do it manually. So that's the case, that's the case. And the ignimbus has gone over that way. That, that's fine, I can always just... Just get a new ignimbus. <laughs> that's, that's not an issue. Okay, so let's go with stage three. Apparently it's easier to deploy a dragon. Well, to be perfectly fair, these are copies of the original dragon, so maybe it got confused about which dragon was supposed to be out at the time. <laughs> I can see that being a thing. Okay. So in that case... Okay, you. Now... This ought to be more of a fight. Oh yeah. He's got the lightning going, and it's been dive bombing. He's got a pretty good blast there. Lightning Dragon's now at full, it, it, it's full capacity for actually doing some damage. Well, at least full capacity for knowing how to actually attack properly. Okay, that got roasty. But the Incubus still has a huge flash. And it has quite a lead. Actually, in terms of uh, damage dealt to the other, I'd say right now the Lightning Dragon has the lead. It's stage 3. Oh, Lightning Bomb. Okay, <laughs> now it's definitely biting the, uh, the Ignibus pretty hard there. The Dive Bomb attacks don't do straight as well as they do. But the Lightning Blast can do a lot of damage in a hurry, because they seem to repetitively strike. And quite well. But the Ingibus has the same trip with Torchfire Barrage. Oh, and the Lightning Dragon has heavily lost its lead. You're gonna have to use that breath weapon a lot more often if you're gonna take this guy down. And by the uh, the one I'm saying needs to use the breath weapon more often, that's the lightning dragon. Okay, there you go. Good shocking. However, it's still got, got uh, smitten by the uh, ignibus, but it did do a lot of damage first. So you're... You're down. Just even stage three got just did get destroyed, but it was in fact a much close, uh, a much closer match. Eh, yeah, darn lips. So stage three still couldn't do it. Let's go on to stage four after a quick heal up here. There we go. Okay. Ignibus? This is stage four. Uh, y yeah, in this case, I'm saying good luck with that, Ignibus. Uh, <laughs> stage four is way more powerful than stage three. <laughs> it goes up really steeply. And <laughs> yeah, now who's got the reach advantage? Okay, perfectly fair. They're blasting each other repetitively at point blank range. But the Ignibus lost a lot of health real fast from that one. Okay, 
see that, that angle, that back angle, is what it does look weird though. So you're, you're doing your lightning backwards at your target while you're shoving past them. Ignibus is actually about down. The Ignibus is down. Well, the Lightning Dragon did get seriously scorched, but it's still not even quite to 50% yet. That Scorch Fire really is, uh... Having ignited for quite some time there. Okay. Eventually the lightning dragon did get free. Okay, so you did eventually triumph there. Well, then you die bomb for something else. Okay, I'm just, I'm just gonna put you back in the dragon horn. Oh, I thought I whenever it disappeared that I, uh... Here we go. Gotcha. Okay, I'd still like to do stage 5. Because... Yeah, stage 5... Uh... This, hold up, lips. Stage 5... That's a right rumble there. Stage 5 is as big as it gets. So yeah, if you're going to be facing these guys at night, whenever they're more awake, yeah, good luck with that. Okay, it just immediately barraged the Ignibus for a huge chunk of his health. Uh, showing it some pain there, but uh, it did get swiped so much quicker. Okay, so not really that much, but like it ten, a little more than ten percent off the health of the lightning dragon. But uh, still, that, that 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 was still kind of intense there. Lightning Dragon clearly has the advantage at stage 5, so once it's reached its maximum power, the Ignibus is not going to get through it, if the Ignibus is a usual one. That said, it would be interesting if I had ways of getting the variants easier, and that way I could uh, maybe experiment with uh, trying to see if I could... Uh... There we go, gotcha. Trying to see if I could uh, experiment with... Uh... Yep, yep, need to catch the dragon. Quit, quit. There we go. Okay. There, that, that got that one through. I was gonna say, you need to experiment with ways of getting the differently uh, colored versions of Lagonite's mobs. Because there are variations of Ignibus, and, some, and the variations have way more health. So, I could imagine that being a pretty big thing to test in the future. Is against the various uh, extensions of the Ignibus. Either way, it's still a powerful, uh, powerful opponent there. It just takes the uh, Lightning Dragon a bit to catch up, because you do need to be at a fairly high stage before that actually gets through. As even Stage 3 wasn't really that sufficient. But Stage 4 and 5, which admittedly are rare variations that uh, you don't see very often when it comes to any of the dragons from Ice and Fire, they can take it out. But still, it's going to be quite some searching before you find stage uh, 4 or 5 in the wild, so if you're using an Ignibus yourself, you might actually have to be concerned about your mount a bit. I mean, it might be able to help you do some serious damage first, but uh, it might lose out in the end. Oh, I was being a Wisp earlier. Apparently in this particular world, I just got the Wisp in my bestiary. Yeah, there it is. Oh, there's a little dancing point of light to go off on. But yeah, that was an interesting mob battle. I'm definitely going to do more with both of those two in the future. Uh, for now, this is uh, Glitch Reaper. I'll be signing off. I hope to hear from you all later. And remember, there will be more mob battles.